What is up, For Honor brothers and sisters? So, Zhang Jun, better known as JJ to the community, Dynamite! is my favorite heavy hero. And so what I want to bring to you, I know I've done guides for Nabushi, I've done guides for Kensei, but there's some characters I just feel like they only really need tips. I'm not sure if a complete guide is really needed for JJ. I can do one if you guys ask for one, but I just wanted to focus on the tips. So here's a few JJ tips that I think will help players that are looking for a heavy to try, or if you're looking to try JJ, maybe you just want to give him a shot. Well, I'm going to give you some tips that should help you when you're out on the battlefield. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first tip is do not hard faint your unblockables if you're going for a guard break. You can soft faint to your guard break. And the reason why I say that is because, number one, it's easier to be counter guard break, but also you'll end up whiffing and getting hit with the heavy. So you want to make sure that you use your soft faint guard break. Spit it out already. If you're going to do that, don't hard faint. Because if they go ahead and follow through, especially if they have hyper armor, it's, it's not going to help you at all. So here we go, just so you can see. That's the soft faint. See, with the soft faint, I'm safe. That is not safe. I'll do it again. Hold on. That's not it. See, that was where I did the hard faint. This is where I did the soft faint. You can get away with it a lot easier if you just use your soft faint. So make sure you soft faint. Do not do this. Then you're gonna get hit with the heavy. Especially if you're going against another JJ or even another hero that's throwing out a heavy. You might even just, might bounce off each other a little bit, but you'll still take damage. Show you once again. There you go. So you can see the difference. It's just a little timing difference, but it makes a big deal. Now the second tip, and it kind of goes along with that hard faint. This is why you just got to understand what you want, what you want to do as JJ. But if you believe that you're going to get parried, you believe that they're going to throw out the heavy to try to parry you on your unblockable, then what you need to do is hard faint it and then throw out a heavy because you can tank it but you must have the health to trade so i only recommend this if you're actually going to be doing this with somebody that's low in health and you have at least half your health or higher or maybe there's you have strength in numbers situation on a point and you can get away with it there so this is what i'm talking about just like that see 27 damage each however obviously if they're lower health than you that works in your favor you got to keep that in mind when you're trading and that's the good thing about jj his opener side heavy having that hyper armor is because you can do moves like that so that's tip number two tip number three is to bait your bash just like that catch him sometimes you can but you also also there you go and you can catch him just like that when you bait your bash that's tip number three bait your bash with the, the new bash changes now that they're 433 millisecond it really helps it really helps jj it's actually something that's useful unlike before it was not useful so tip number four is to make sure you use your choke when you're near a wall because it does wall splat. See, that didn't wall splat, but watch this. Put him in the choke, get the wall splat. You get 27 damage off of that. So make sure you throw a side heavy to get your 27 damage off choke into wall splat, and you get that. In addition 
to about 23 stamina that you're getting from that. And of course, the stamina that your opponent loses also from their attack based on whatever attack they're using. So you get stamina drain and you'll get a 27 damage heavy. Tip number five is the JJ out of stam punish. So for this punish, you wanna go double top heavy off of the bar break and you will get 54 damage y'all 54 damage and i threw him in front that time throw him to the side 54 you can throw up behind regardless you're going to get this damage that is 54 damage major damage y'all major damage so you got to take advantage of that so anytime you do a guard break to someone that's out of stamina you got to do this punish double top heavy 54 damage with jj Lethal, lethal. Then if you have a teammate, throw something on top of that. Just imagine, somebody gets erased. Now, if you parry someone that's out of stamina, you want to go light top heavy for 42 damage. So being out of stamina with JJ and getting parried while you're stamina or getting guard broken when you're out of stamina is bad news. Bad news. Uh, like I said again, let's do it again here. Go light, top heavy for 42 damage. Now you're probably wondering what happens if you go side heavy or what happens if you go, you want to see those numbers, you can, but I'm just telling you the maximum one you want to do is that you want to go light, top heavy. You can go light, side heavy, but it's going to be less damage. I think it's 40 damage. Let's try it. And light, side heavy. Yep, light side heavy is 40 damage. So always go with your light first if you parry somebody out of stamina and then follow it up with the heavy. Even if you just go side heavy, it don't matter. It's just two damage. Just do it. Just make sure you get your damage. Don't get caught thinking too much and then you don't get anything. So that's the out of stam punishes for JJ when it comes to parrying out of stamina as well as you guard break somebody that's out of stamina. All right, tip number six with JJ. So if you guard break JJ, and let's say they're very low in stamina, let me bring this JJ out. If you if you do guard break a JJ and they're low in stamina, let's say you are trying to get them out of stamina, then if you actually guard break them and then push them back, basically pressing the guard break button again, that uses 20 stamina and it gives you a two second stun. So they're gonna go into a two second stun. You look over the top of their head. You see it's like spinning? That is a stun. So it's gonna be two seconds where they can't even see your guard, a little dazed kind of look. But it doesn't mean you get anything free. Because right now I got the bot set to parry. Now watch this, I'll throw it. No, you can still get parried. You can't get anything off of it. So mainly if you just wanna get someone out of stamina because they're low, after they kind of exhausted themselves or through too many attacks, you can get that guard break and you throw them. You're not near a wall or anything. You just want to get them out of stamina. That's just something that you can do. It's just, it's really something just to know. Maybe something you might not even use very often because usually when players have guard breaks, they're going to go for that heavy attack. You're going to go for that top heavy with JJ because you cannot get a side heavy with JJ off a of guard break. So you're going to go for that top heavy attack but if there is a circumstance where you can get them out of stamina and maybe you need to retreat back and help your teammate and they can be out of stam or whatever the case may be, that's something and a little tip for you to know. And for tip number seven, basically you need to stay away from JJ's zone. And when I say stay away from his zone, I'm saying stay away from his neutral zone. Of course, if you go Sifu and you throw out his zone, it's gonna go out on your left side but of course, if you use your zone from neutral, it's gonna go out on your right side. So just know that, but it, it does 16 damage. So it does one more damage than a finisher light, but it burns 60 stamina, 60 stamina. So if you feel the need to use it, maybe as a change up, maybe you're just surrounding, you're like, I think I can use this and you don't think somebody's gonna actually get you out of stamina at that time, 
It's best to use it at full stam so you can continue your attack with a light because you can do that. Finish a light. Nobody can really guard break you out of it. But let's say if you just used it, I was stuck. I was stuck and you can't dodge out of it. Look, I can't dodge or nothing. You're just stuck. So if you're going to use it, do an attack after, even if it takes you back into Sifu. See that? See, I can. Whoops, I didn't do another attack and I got stuck. See what I mean? So that way you can at least continue some type of attack, pressure, movement, etc. Don't just throw this out by itself and then you end up being stuck there and can be guard breaked. You can be guard breaked out there. But you don't want that to happen. So that's just my advice for the zone. And for this last tip is just stay away from it. It's 60 stamina, it's gonna burn a lot of stamina. So if you're gonna use it, follow it up with a light, get right back into Sifu. Or if you just wanna throw this out so you can get into Sifu and get your stamina back, you gotta be smart. Just be smart when you're using it. But I hope you guys appreciated these tips. Just wanna give you guys any information that I have or I know about a hero. So that way maybe you can take it on the battlefield and use it to get the upper hand on somebody you're going against or maybe even another JJ, who knows. But I appreciate you guys for listening. That's all I have for this one. Until next time, peace.